Thank you so much for tuning in and good evening you good evening to all of you this is uh Irakalia Bunyoro in the diaspora the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora which is supported by BKDA and Rise Up Community Inclusion and it is Caroline Kiwuka Atenyi uh, the host of this show Nintaka Genzerehara I want to remind all our viewers that to, uh, the Irakalia Bunyoro in the diaspora is presented into two, two languages, that is Runyoro and English. Runyoro being the language spoken by the people from Bunyoro, and Runyoro is definitely found in the western part of Uganda. For those of you who do not know where it is, it is found in the western part of Uganda, East Africa. Uh, before I continue with the show, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to say that us here at the Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora, we would like to extend our sincere condolences to all individuals and families who have lost their loved ones in the past week. Our prayers and thoughts are with you, and may the souls of the departed rest in peace. Uh, with just a minute of silence, we remember all those that have gone. May their souls rest in peace. With or after that, the above message, let us take a break and enjoy this amazing song by one of our great musicians in Bunyoro. And you will hear it soon. Uh, when our technical personnel does put it on air. Mutio muno abanyoro na abanyoro kati na friends of Bunyoro. Mwivale muno kutuninga in hierarchy abanyoro in the diaspora. And I'm glad to see you again. It hasn't been an easy week. But we thank God that we are still going. And we are still breathing. As you all know. We are in the times that our times we are in the times we are in now are dark, but we can only trust the good Lord. And we know that we will get there and we'll come out at the end of the tunnel. Um in very happy to see you once again. And our technical team will be bringing the song Bunyoro Bunyoro by rapper Diko. Enjoy it. I can't throw my pro, feel power pro, trova sini somebody baron.
Kama iguru Ofete rapa wija mukole itaf you Can can you see them pata nyera wina kuina ma Angiri za kutamaru kia basa ita hango ma Onu rapa di komu vya sinu waku tonto ma Aba kuwaka na kubare kaga muko ma Ninyo waku singa mtatari vana no koma Kalu vina muko ma maido muli muita ma Bari takoba ninyo waku waka kasti ma Tuku vya rabari hafu kwa bakia ali marata Tuku tera me minwa ya wuwa kemi Kano aikuru nyawa na babu nyoro Kati and Friends of Bunyoro, uh, that was the amazing song by our own musician. And as I said, uh, it is uh, the rights are reserved, the copyrights are reserved to him. In the diaspora, we just play the music, but of course, it is not our work. Mwevale, muno kutuninga ini, kandi semere hamu kuba hamu na inye kilokinu. Uh, today we are supposed to be inviting our amazing guest, our honorable ma uh, guest, uh, but because of what is happening in Uganda, total lockdown, he has, and, uh, he has not been able to move from one district to another, so, and for other personal reasons, he, could join, he couldn't join us today. By to eat we are uh, determined and always be ready to serve you, to serve our viewers, to serve Bunyoro, and to continue raising the flag of Bunyoro despite of what challenges we have. Hati to Asarahot to Ijaku Saramusheni again. Of course, last week we had challenges and we were unable to connect with the guest who was there then. Now this week, he's not there and we have been able to connect, but without the guest. So Mujakutugani Ramukake, we never give up as the, 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 the motto of Kabalega, never give up kusingurwa uh, rundi nguayo. Konkwara or die, we are always here to serve Bunyoro. Hati, uh, I have my amazing colleague here in the studio with me. Uh, Tugenda kuba mtubaza nainwe. Today you are our guests, the viewers. You are going to be our guests. You're going to tell us what, because our topic today was going to follow under the Bunyoro we want. As you have been seeing our flyers, but we are not going to talk about the oil and, and, uh, ga oil and gas sector because we do not know the, the details. We do not work with that sector. And the engineer who was supposed to be telling us about this amazing topic, how we can position ourselves, as I've said, he has been unable to join us. Hati itwe to asaraho itwe nkaba voice obunyoro in the diaspora ku continuing with the show with this amazing series, The Bunyoro We Want. And today I'm with my colleague uh, who is going to introduce himself. I am not going to introduce him, although he's looking at me wanting me to introduce him. I am not going to do so. I'm going to ask him to come on the, on the show or to be put up on the screen so that he introduces himself. And then we will start hearing your comments. We will start discussing of the Bunyoro you want and the Bunyoro we also want here in, at the Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora. 
which is on Voice Show Media UK. Otiomuno Arari, introduce yourself, our viewers right to Akumanye, and then we start the show. Great. Um, all our viewers, thank you very much, um, Aten, for the wonderful work you're doing on the Voice of Nyoro and Voice Media UK. Um, it's a privilege to be here today to speak to our viewers. And yeah, without your viewers, wouldn't be here. So we send our sincere gratitude and uh, we are thankful that you support us day, Sunday in, Sunday out. Um, yes, as uh, you mentioned that today is going to be a dialogue between um, us and our viewers uh, under the theme, uh, the Bunyoro we all want. And it's interesting, um, at the beginning uh, of our song, there is the song, it says, mm -hmm. But that's, we are going to be rotating around that is that if Ebirungi Bikwi Jabiri Maiso, Ebirungi Ebiu, are they going to just come like that? Uh, are they just going to be set ahead just like that? Mm -hmm. Some work has to be done. So thank you very much. And um, happy, happy Father's Day to all wonderful dads out there, even to myself, a dad. So yeah, well done dads, you work very hard. Um, yes, happy Father's Day. Oh, uh, Arari, that was supposed to be my beat, <laughs> but you've taken it. And I was going to wish you a very happy uh, Father's Day after you, you have introduced yourself to our viewers, but then you have done it before I did it. But still, I will have to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you for being fathers. Thank you for being dads. Thank you for being the model, the role, the heads of families in Africa, the man is always the head of the family. So we really thank you, all of you, the fathers, the dads, everyone out there who is called a man. We wish you a very blessed, happy, happy Father's Day. And may God continue to use you to model our children and the generation that we are planning to model into a be better uh, people. Otiomuno, Abanyoro na Abanyoro Kati. We are now going, and friends of Bunyoro, we are now going to start discussing or open the dialogue, as my friend, my colleague called it, of, about the Bunyoro we want. What is the Bunyoro we want? And how can we achieve the Bunyoro we want? Um, and it's, it's so special having this conversation today in a sense that it's Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And we look and see what is the role of fathers in our culture, in our community. And the world where it is now can really, the Bunyoro we want, can we achieve it mm -hmm. without dads, without having role models, without, um, you know, culture, our, one of our objectives, promoting culture, and that culture, yeah, fathers, yes, mothers do, anyway, let's talk about <laughs> fathers today. So what role, you know, our viewers tell us, do, do the Bunyoro we want, what do we want to see the role of fathers in, 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 um, in the home? Are they the fathers that are absent from home? Are they the, the fathers who um, uh, uh, they, they, are, they are drinking and beer uh, all the time on the street? Uh, we, which, which fathers do we want? Because if, if, if you don't have a father in, in a home, um, it leaves, what type of mural are we going to have without fathers? Mm -hmm. So what is the role on fathers in, in the mural we want? And how are we going to progress forward as, as the Bunyoro we want? 
I know we're going to talk about oil, on ga uh, oil and gas uh, within Bunyoro um, and having our specialists. But at the same time, how are we prepared mm. in the Bunyoro we want? Do we, do we want the Bunyoro we all want that other companies come, they do whatever they do, and then we go? So I think that song we played at our introduction is Evirungi Vikui Javiri Maiso. So 50 years ago, if that song was played, no one knew that oil is going to be mm. in, 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 in Bunyoro. So there were things, you know, good things were lying ahead. Mm. And guess what? They are ahead now. We are here now. Mm. So there's other good things lying ahead. So how are we prepared? Yes, um, as, as we are all saying, the Bunyoro we want, and you talked about the fathers being role models and, uh, of course, being the head of the, head of the family, uh, we expect fathers to be the leaders in this Bunyoro we want to pick up the, the family and start working, training the young generation to be who they are supposed to. I remember when I was growing up, I had a very strong role model in my life, although uh, my father was not there, but I had a grandfather. And to me, my grandfather, hadn't he been the man, the farmer, the great person who used to wake up at six, at five in the morning, make sure by the time we all wake up, the whole compound is cleaned. He has cleaned the whole place. He has gone to the cattle. He has looked at the, herds, the herdsman, whether they have started milking the cattle. He has done a number of checks of, with all his with his workers mm. and for us we would just wake up to do breakfast but most of the things outside he has already taken out the, the coffee pl uh, beans he has already laid them on the on the ground because he used to do coffee he used to do uh, cows he used to be a farmer he was a very popular man in in, in kasunga kiarigambi and to me he is the man who has molded me to be very hard working hadn't he been there Probably I wouldn't be persistent in what I do. For example, now when we have all these challenges that are happening with what we encounter every Sunday, especially me being the one at the front, I wouldn't be that powerful. I wouldn't be with that strong mindset. So I think fathers play a very, a very important role in in a family. And if if all men out there could do their best to do to be the role models in the families probably we would get the bunyoro we want because okay. because fathers are very important mothers yes. are important but a man is a man yes yes yeah, yeah. Um, um touching on to that again um you know progression from where we want to go as as our community as 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 as, as people um, like um, when I was growing up in, um, in, in Movende, we had um, Father's Union. Um, within the village, there was a Father's Union. So parents, I mean fathers, used to go there. But I don't know our community where it is now. You hear about circles, about money. You hear about uh, um, even a, a lot of things they've gone. So uh, the most things you hear about in the community is uh, funerals, uh, going for funerals, uh, going for barrios. Uh, th those are the things you hear. You don't hear of a, a vibrant um, father's union. Yeah. And what do fathers discuss there? Do they discuss about fatherhood? And then, again, the young people, once they see that, they follow that through. So um, this, I'm throwing it back to, to our viewers. Please let us know what is happening in our community. Yes. So if, if you don't really have um, me in, um, in my household, I see being a father there, it, it means a lot. It, mm. it's, it's, there's certain things that happen there that a father is required, is needed. And as you mentioned about your grand, grandfather, yeah. with myself, my dad, mm. you know, he, he, you could feel his presence. Uh, you could feel um, uh, if he's not there, you know he's not there. But when he's there, you could feel his presence. And uh, speaking to him, there's a lot of things you learn. Yeah. You learn from, from, from your father. So, and then even the community itself, there were elders whereby I think there's a proverb, an African proverb that says, 
it takes a village to raise a child. Okay. So you could see these men I used to see on the village and the way I used to see them because they were friends of my dad and you could see them, you could see them in the image of your dad. Mm -hmm. And when they, they, they find you on the street or trying to climb some mango trees, they say, you know, you don't want to do it because they are into that position of a father, even though, you know, they're not your father, but you've got that respect, that more respect. So I think uh, let our viewers tell us. Yeah, because you see men, even now, the youth, you see normally where you find a home where there is no a figure, a, a, figure a, a male figure or a man or a husband or a father, you always tend to see that the young boy, if there's a, a, a boy in the family, in that household, they always take the lead. So it is upon, today we are just talking about fathers because being a father's day, but it is a really important aspect in our families and people growing up to have a male figure in their, in their, in their life. As I said, may my grandfather rest in peace. He was a very powerful person and he molded many of us, our grand, my cousins, my, my uncles, my aunties, and we were all had to make sure that we all went to the village when he was there. Yeah. Everything was Christmas, we all knew we had to be in the village. And because of him, we ended up loving Bunyoro. Because we knew we had to be in Hoima every Christmas. We had the long vacation, three months. We all had to go to the village. All our parents knew we, they had to send us to the village. And in the village, he would make us do coffee plantations. He would make us carry water for the, for the, for the deep, for cow, cows. And he would pay us. And because of that motivation, he gave us, paying us, making sure we are working hard. It motivated all of us. Yeah. And in the end, we ended up being, I'm not being proud, but I can't say proudly on this, on this, on this show that I'm proud of most of my cousins because they are very hard working. Mm. Where do we get this hard, working, this hard work uh, 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 habit from? Because we had a role model who was very hardworking, as you said, we throw it back to the to the to, the, to our viewers. I just want to ask. I have seen Omkuru Salongo, Sabarongo, Edward Nyakana, Abairo, Hashohanu, Mkuenda, Ove Yonai, Wogambo, Wogtugambi, Rahara Baro, Hasho, Abansomeri Yakubaza, Omkuru Gerard Gerard Edward, Owa. Our Belija, I think he's not, he's not, he has not written anything, but yeah. So the Bunyoro we want. Yes. We are going to talk about gas and oil. Yes. Today, our guest has not come. Mm. We all aware. Oil City, we are singing it, everyone. Oil City, everyone is talking about Oil City. How are we prepared it when Kabanyoro? Yes. For that, for that oil that is there. If they have already started doing the, uh, removing it or whatever, I don't know the, the, the terminology to use, extracting it. But how are we prepared? How are we using this opportunity? How are our youth benefiting? How are we benefiting it when Kabanyoro has most questioned? Okay, what can we do to benefit it when Kabanyoro? Yes. Um. I think, again, it's, it's a dialogue, you know, we're discussing, just throwing it out there. The way I look at it, um, they say charity begins from home. Mm. Um, you begin from where you are now. Uh, when I look at um, our uh, neural community in the UK, that's where I'm going to start off with, is that um, when uh, they, they, they look and see, for instance, if there is um, a leading team, the executive, they are looking at the executive. What is the executive doing? Mm. Um, but the executive itself cannot do everything. So uh, executive is there to guide, line, to, to guide through the process and ex execute the, uh, the objectives of the organization. But really and truly, every member or every someone who subscribes to be a Mnyoro, mm. they we are there to work together yes. and then uplift whatever initiative we're doing. So, so the, the, the community looks at the executive, the leadership. Then let us leave it there. Then when you 
through the nets wider, you look at the entire community, they are waiting for the government, mm -hmm. who are the leaders or the politician. Mm -hmm. And then furthermore, you look at the Banyoro looking at the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing this for the past, I don't know how many, 50 years, mm -hmm. how many years. So, but there's no results, nothing. Mm -hmm. So then we start blaming the government. Mm -hmm. We start blaming the, the, the kingdom, the kingdom leadership. And when you look and see the kingdom, it has been around for how many, 25 years now? since it was yeah. Uh, yeah. reinstated. Yes. So when you look at five years, uh, 25 years, there have been different leadership coming in, yeah. and they are gone. Mm. So, Hati eh? Kabuza. So, are we going to be all the time playing that uh, blame excuse, saying, oh, we are looking at the leaders? When there's something, if there's education, um, is being, uh, Bunyoro is being moved from a curriculum, we are looking at the kingdom mm. we are looking at but ourself mm. what sort of work are we doing to elevate ourselves or to have even a voice that when something like that happens we've got a voice mm. so even when you look at the oil mm. so we we should be able as an organization or, or as a community have specialist people there who have done research who have created collaborations with universities that know, like when we were blessed to be in the UK, to have people who can train people. We should have like all different sectors um, educated them or trained them mm -hmm. such that they are fit for, pur for purpose and they are all ready to, to work within the sector. Um, you, you may find that a lot of people that are going to work within the oil sector in Hoima, even at the airport, they are all going to be shipped in from Kampala, from different regions, they are going to come in. Yes. Why? Because us, again, we are looking at the leaders, instead of saying, okay, what should we do? What sort of uh, um, uh, manpower yeah. is required there at the airport, mm. a civil aviation? So BKDA, we could have a training civil aviation, training people into civil aviation. But we are waiting, when it comes, 10 years down the line, they've opened the airport, they've launched it. We are going to see people coming in. <laughs> and the question, From, the yeah. question will be now to yeah. ask the leaders of BKD, and they will ask you, what have you done, as you're saying? Yes. We already throw it to the leaders. So, in short, you're trying to say that it is high time we all took personal responsibility in Kabanyoro, in this sector of oil and gas. Tutandike kuba kukutekeleza, nukora na amani, obutrabatu manjile oile kuija. Obe mm. oile batandikile extracting, haba giho muitaka liye itu. Itu haba nyoro kike kitu kozereo, what have we moved, have we moved, I, can, I already see people here, uh, team kugamba abantu bagenda street batandike kudemonstrating, I'm not uh, calling for that, mm. but have we taken ac account to go and ask our leaders for help? Kubateka her task, nti, tukole kinu, tukoragane, binu nivyo tu kuenda, mukagenda, tukagenda, tukaba heavy tese, yeito heavy tu kuenda, baku tukolele, nivyo bali hiki yeyo. But we tend to sit down and start blaming the leaders, nkogo gambile. Haa, ah, emu piwa ita chulera, vichulera, taini kia kozereho, baiti iwe, emu piwa muhikirile wabaza nawe. Wamugambi, danti nyonyi na kakata kakange kanu mkwenda kora hokino. I know when I was reading through an uh, uh, engineer, uh, 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 the guest was supposed to be with us here. He was talking about doing um, hot, culture, hot, cul hot, hot culture farming, yeah? doing modern farming. He was talking about in his, uh, in his, uh, in his profile, the things that he thinks people should be doing, P things like leasing their land out to people. Or hikire wa gendo wa emu pi wa mga mbawewe nyonyi na kata kakange kanu. Urabo inayaba antu, awa kuenda kulizinga kata kakanu, nyowe niredeka hayu. Have we done that? Mm. This is the winyoro we want all of us to be active. Nikio ii tuhano hairaka ya winyoro in the diaspora, which started under BKDA, said we needed a voice. Yes. We needed a voice of banyoro in the UK mm. or in the diaspora, Europe, America, because it is diaspora, to have a voice where we can come and discuss and tell our people, this is what we want, talk to our leaders through this media. We have had Omhikira of the, the, the kingdom come on this platform. 
we have had Dr. Talindwa of the Rukurato come on this platform. But when, when we, they come, do we, the Banyoro, come and answer them, ask them questions, or put them to task? No, we wait. I always hear people send me, send me messages. Interesting, actually, this morning I was reading in my, in, on my Facebook page. Mm. People are telling me, ask engineer this and this. I said, no, come and ask the engineer. I'm sure my friend will be here. Mm. Come and pose that question to the engineer yourself. Mm. Because me, I have created the platform. I'm just a, a, a spokesperson. Yes. I am not speaking on behalf of every Munyoro. Yes. I'm just a spokesperson coming to introduce the engineer in front of you guys. Mm. And then you take on the job. Yeah. Then me, I put my hands here and say, okay, engineer, makukaguza yeah. yeah. mm. So this is what we want every Munyoro to participate, to do mm. their best, to do your part. Don't blame the leaders. Yes. But yeah. uh, jumping on that, I think there is one question there in, uh, in, in the chat yeah. um, from uh, Judith v v Bigira. Bigira. Amoti. Yes. Mm. So if we grab that question. Um, but talking about uh, yeah. you she mentioned. Says, yeah. She says, people in the region, this is Bigira, uh, Judith Bigira Amoti. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you for the great support. This is one of our leaders in the Bunyoro Tired Development Association. She has been a leader of this association for many years. So she's saying people in the region need to be encouraged to be creative rather than waiting for handouts. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. And, and, and when you look at that, when you look at that, combining it with uh, the point you made, is that, yes, we can hold our leaders to account. But before we do that, we need to ensure that we've got, I would say, leg to stand on. Mm -mm. So it's well and good you to ask uh, a certain leader, what have you done, what have you done? But that leader will expect you to go and create a collaboration, but not to ask them, what have you done? Yes. So BKDA, there is loads of Banyoro here. Um, and uh, there is another question as well. Um, I, have I have said it before. I will say it again, we need business leaders in Bunyoro who are not selfish and we should stop undermining each other. That, that's another thing. So, Who is that? We need to read out people's names so um, that they know. That is uh, Joseph Adamson. Joseph Adamson. Adain. All right. Yes. So mm. um, e business. So where are these people? Where are they? Mm. So it's the other element that when people and... It's going to lead me to another word, which is corruption. Much as we, we, we sugarcoat things and, 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 and lie, lie around, corruption, when Museven says that the, uh, the beehives, they've infiltrated in, in, the, the police, the, 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 the air, what's it called? The Uganda airline. Yeah. But I can say, that even all our institutions, they've got that. Mm. Because if it wasn't that, these people would be there to serve people. Because people are holding positions, they are not letting go positions, mm. and they are not even building teams, mm. like people, a support mechanism. I've seen uh, MPs, I've seen positions in the cabinet. They don't have, they don't have a team. Mm. They don't have a team uh, you look at projects here in the UK, you just work on one project. You've got a line manager, you've got a supervisor, you've got a foreman, all these people. Working in a team. Working in a team and they help this project. Mm. But you see someone is being put into a position as a deputy prime minister, as a minister of education, of this, until they leave. There is no support mechanism. They don't have a team, they don't have... Um, uh, and these things, some of them have studied to Europe. They've got degrees. Some of them have got PhDs. And again, uh, uh, as, as um, uh, our colleague mentioned it there, uh, that, you know, undermining each other. It is to value each and every one. Whether someone has a PhD, whether someone has, uh, has a diploma, a diploma mm -hmm. or has got a certificate, mm -hmm. you know, just, just engage everyone and support them in the neural we want. Because even the Bible says, I'll go back, my mom will love this. Because yes. She wants me to talk about the Bible all the time. Yes. The, 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 the Bible says it, it, you work as a, a body of Christ. And in that body of Christ, there are different uh, talents. 
or t there are those who speak tongues, there are those who pray, there are those who preach. You can't do everything. Even when you speak uh, the, the tongues, there must be someone within the group who yes. interrupt, who will tell what you have said because the body of Christ works in unity. So we have to have that teamwork. The problem, I always read comments when I'm on Facebook because now my life is all over. I live my life on Facebook because of this show. I want to hear, to, to listen, to read what Banyoros are saying. I already, I'm always on my Facebook. I'm always going to different groups. People are always saying, Banyoro, we are not united. But when are we going to First stop, take a penny there. Talk, to stop talking and stop Let's being... Take a penny there. You said united. Yes. United. Yes. So do you see where it goes back to what uh, Joseph mentioned uh, at Eng about business? There's that word united. You talked about the leaders going us to the leaders, hold them to account. There's that word united. Yeah. So without unit, even the oil, all of that, nothing, we're going to see it pass just like that. No, I'm telling you, unit. <laughs> unit. You said it. Unit. Because what people are saying at the same time again, there is no smoke without fire. Without fire. Mm. If a community is not moving forward, that means something is something somehow something is not right. Yes. It, it's not it's not it's not artificial, it's not made. But mm. as as we all said, typical of blame culture, they will always blame it on the leaders. Mm. BKDA has been a, a, around for twenty five years. I have seen someone write it here. Yes. What have we done? Yes. The blame, not the community, yes, but the executive. Yes. We have had so many executives, over thirty, I think twenty five. Yes. How many? About 10, 20, 10 to 15 lead, uh, chairpersons yes. of BKDA since yes. it was created. Mm. It's an amazing association. It is. Yeah. Everyone finds pride in it, yes. but always they will blame the executive. And mm. then you wonder, where, are the, where is the community? If you're saying, what has BKDA done for 27 years? Yeah. Where, what have you done to make BKDA work for 27 years? Yes. And that's what I said. Yeah. There's no smoke without, without fire. fire. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you are saying that something is not being done, yes. there is something wrong. Yes. So you need to identify. We need to identify what is want. wrong. The bunyoro we want. Yes. We all want. Not even we want. We all want yes. because at the end of the day, irrespective of how things we are doing them, but we all, all our hearts are in bunyoro. Uh, there is a comment there. Diana Kemerembe says, not only Banyoro are not united, but Ugandans in general, we are not united. Yes. They are not yes. united. Yes. So, so, so uh, Kemerembe, write more and tell us how. Can you list, list for us a few things that you think can make us united? We have to be so many. Mm. These are the things that we have to do mm. to be united. Yeah. Diana Aboli, Okuija next week, her voice of our voice show media UK, to Kulinzire, to Kwendo, to Listingire, Evin to Evi, Abanyo Evi to Rakora, Evi Ratujo, Evi Ratu Gaita. Degrias Tereko, Munganina Mamaro Wundanga Soma Kubi, Agambire, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Arali. Let me see, you keep telling me to read these people's comments and I really want to read them. It is all about awareness. This is Dewo. I don't know where he's come, he's, he is uh, allocated, but he's saying we need to make, to make the Banyoros aware. It's all about awareness. Uh, do you agree with that? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Education, that is what uh, Ms. Avilija normally talks about. Mm. Um, our... Um, very learned, well, um, yes, he's got a lot of experience in education. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the education, the mis <laughs> <laughs> misinformation. So, Madam Jolie, Madam <laughs> Jolie here, she writes, um, culture is not static, static, static. Yes. It changes. We have had to embrace changes yes. along the way, mm. coupled with so-called with so development, 
fathers go to work and mothers too to the children are raised by teachers and maids or both parents are not hundred percent present yeah yeah so culture has to change yes it has to change and we have to embrace it but at the same time we don't need to compromise certain aspects which are the pillars of our community yes. um, can you see a days of Yaruhanga saying we cannot build the Vinyoro by talking and criticizing we need action we need impact tangible results however small yes we need yeah. this tangible which is true yes and that's why you see some people go out of their way and start doing things i think this is where the problem comes in now i, ca I kind of realize why we keep saying oh we are not united or we don't work together or what you sit down you want to have something done for example you're in meeting you agree but some people don't want what others are saying so what do you do then because you're frustrated you walk out and say you know what i'm going to start acting i'm going to do this and then you'll find another one who will have the same mindset i am tired of sitting in meetings i know i have many people who keep calling me meetings for them because they don't want meetings they go out and do their own things so no to sanga ito na tukozero buntu obutaito taito habuokuba the big picture or the big organization is not not taking action yeah so i think sometimes that's where the division comes in mm -hmm. i may be wrong our viewers will continue. We're having a dialogue. Yes. We're having it's a yes. dialogue. It's a so dialogue. Our viewers may start, they may say more. Yes. Uh, my mother, Alice Aten, is saying, as Vanyoro, we need to be practical and forward thinking. That's a very good point, too. Yes. We've got someone watching here from South Sudan. Yes. That is uh, uh, Betise Kia. Karisima. That is my friend. She moved from England and went to South South Sudan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> greetings, greetings in uh, um, in in in, uh, in Sudan. Yes. Um, talking about we cannot build Bunyoro by talking and criticizing, but yes. at the same time there has to be some criticism somehow somewhere. Yes. We, we can't we cannot just ignore it. And sometimes again we have to be honest to ourselves. Yes. Because we say something else. And when it comes to deliverance, we do something completely different. Mm. We say we want to be united, but we are the same people who are creating the division. Yes. So we need to be honest in order to move forward. Yes. So it is well and good to talk all these sweet words on, online and do all these things. But at the same time, we have to be honest to ourselves. Yes. And if we don't, 30 years down the line, it's going to be the same thing again. Our kids, they are going to be talking about the same thing. But me, I, I refuse that. And what I think I have also noticed in our own, not only within the Banyoro, but yeah. also worldwide, uh, worldwide as Africans or black people, as Kemi Rembe has said, not only Banyoro, but Ugandans, we do not have this element of passing on, uh, wanting to train the young to take over. If we had, you see, I have worked with the, with the different uh, people I won't say which race mm. but they have this tendency of delegating they have this tendency. remember I said we need to be honest because sometimes <laughs> sometimes sometimes in Africa or oh, we we our culture those talking in proverbs <laughs> okay I will I will uh, yes I will <laughs> so I have seen some of the people or the people I have worked with let me say in different workplaces I've been to they train you when you're, you're coming, when they see you're a person of caliber, a person who can lead, they start training you. If there's a leader who is, suppose maybe he's getting old or he has plans to retire, they start training that next person in position. So that by the time that person leaves, this other person, the young one, is already what? Trained, is already aware of what is going to be done. So the company continues regardless of the other people leaving. So that is the problem that we have, we as Africans. We don't want to let others know our knowledge. We do not want to train people to come to take on our 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 responsibility or our work mm -hmm. maybe we are worried maybe we are scared maybe we don't know where the future takes oh if i train this person maybe i won't have a job in five years to come but this is not right 
Yes. Yes. We should have this thing of letting everyone sharing information. Yes. Working together because when you share and train other people, you become a unity. Yes. And you get a, a bigger team that understands what you're doing. So that if you're not there, the company will still move forward. If you're not there as a leader, Bunyoro will move forward. I'll give you an example. Yes. When, uh, when you go on the street outside there yes. and you walk into these Indian shops, mm. you're going to find the grandma on the shelves. You're going to find the small boy mm. about like 15 years old on Saturday behind the counter. You're going to find a, a small young girl behind the butcher. They are all family. Yes. You, you find in the shop at one time, you find like four generations. Yeah. They are in there. Yeah. What does that tell you? So which other businesses, black businesses, like what I've told you, me, I try to be as honest as possible. Mm. I've given you the example of the Indians. Mm. The Jews mm. are the same people. Yes. You go into the factory, you find the brother, the son is doing the invoices. You find the, the other laborers packing the, the lorries. Mm you find uh, uh, a, a daughter mm. she's the one uh, uh, at the reception so so those people they do it those culture they do it what is stopping us i don't know right there's a question here viewers tell us what is stopping us um there's a question here what qualifies a man to be a role model in my own words to answer that but even viewers can answer it is to be a good example and to change the narrative, how you found it to make it better. Mm. Like the way my father raised me and my mother, the way they brought me in this, in this world, I have to make sure that I make it better than the way they brought me in or the way it is. So such that when my children come, they find it better and then they make it better. That is my definition of a role model. Yes, I, yeah, we are going to go for a break. I was going to say that because I think the, the conversation is really taking its course and I can see people are commenting, they are writing. I can see uh, Sabalongo, uh, Edward Nyakana, Gambire continuity is a problem. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, it is true. It is the problem we are facing here. We do not trust it, each other. That is Diana Kemirembe who is trying to list the things that are, are troubling us. And we will be back with the same topic. We will come back and continue talking. Please continue writing. Continue. It's a dialogue. It's a dialogue. Continue writing, continue discussing. We may not read every comment, but we will try our best. I saw a comment from one of our good elders in the community, Amot Kisembo. We need to look for that comment and read it out uh, because these are the leaders, these are the elders that we are looking at. When I see them on the chat, I get happy. I get, uh, I, I get excited. I want to read out their comments. My mom, uh, Daisy, Edward, Nyakana, Amot, Amot David Kisembo, those are the people we want to hear from. So, but as we go off for a break, enjoy this amazing song from one of our own singers. Ito to Saziroho Kutera Kuba United. We stand divided, we fall. Tukujaya Kutera Bizina Yabanyo Robyonka. So as we go off, enjoy this amazing song and we'll be back after the break. See you soon. Bye. No
Kati and friends of Bunyoro, thank you. Welcome back from that amazing break. I thought I hope you have enjoyed that song. And it is from our own David King, one of the most or oh, the best musicians Bunyoro has ever had. And he has been singing, and I know most people enjoy his songs. Hati to Garukire Haku Ahanyuma Yokumuramu to Kwenda Solutions to Badizevizibu Ebituina to Gambi to Badizoho. Hati tukuenda tugeende tuhandi kilo mkomenti munu. Mkomenti mchati zaitu munu. Solution to these problems. Then when everyone who is on this chat or when we share it to other, to people outside there, they will see the problems we have and then they will look at the challenge, the, the solutions. Uh, Ninyenda kuba mkabulikiro, I will still go through the chats and we have already been mentioning a few of you have been commenting. And sorry if I don't see your chat, your comment, please be bear with me. But I will continue reading out. And then as you write your solutions to the challenges or the problems that Banyoro uh, we, 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 we encounter from, that is putting us not to have the Banyoro we want. Uh, Harohanu uh, Amoti, Fred Kisembo Amoti, he says, we need to involve ourselves than criticism. When we sit back and look at what we regard as problems from those who come out to make, those who come out to make a good contribution, a co good contribution. So I will reread it again. We need to involve ourselves than criticism. When we sit back and look at what we regard as problems from those who came out to make a contribution. I'm trying to understand, is it, that, is it that someone comes out to get involved and when mm. they come to get involved, they've come to contribute and then they become, they, they are being seen as a problem. No, what I, right? think, I think what he's saying that we should stop we should not involve ourselves in criticism mm. and be positive from what we have done. Okay. If something, someone has done something small, mm. we should come out and, and look at that and move forward other than criticizing ourselves. So that we have not done anything. Oh, we are 27 years, what has BKDA done? Mm. Or oh, for the 25 years, what has the kingdom done for us? Or oh, for the 30 years, Museven has been in power, sorry. <laughs> what has he done? Or oh, what has Noop 
done for us for the last six months. I think that's what he's trying to say. Mm. Or what has FDC done? What has Kizabe Sije done when he was in opposition? We should look at the nice things they have done and, 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 and work on to them. Come out and work more on those two small things that I would. I think that's what he's trying to mm. mean. I'm not Basically sure. Basically, to add value. Yes. On on like on that. what has the small what has been done. Yes. Uh, instead of wasting a lot of energy criticizing in criticizing each other. Yeah. Or so each, our work. Yeah. yeah. But constructive criticism is needed. Yeah. Uh, someone here is saying, but constru constructive criticism is needed yes. or constructive constructive feedback. Yes. I, I did a, bit, a little bit of uh, level one counseling okay. and they told us about constructive feedback. feedback. Mm. You don't co start by negativity. Mm. You give a, a, a positive, a negative, and you end with a positive. Mm. That is constructive feedback. But it was to kira kutandika na negative. And leave it there. <laughs> and leave it there. Yes. We never give the positive. Yes. So that is what uh, Mr. J, the man called J, is trying mm. to say to us. Mm. We need constructive criticism. Yes. Not not the po bad one. Mm. Yes. Mm. I think I agree with Mr. JJ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, now solutions. Yes, solutions. Um, solutions is um, being creative. That was mm -hmm. Madame Alice, I believe. Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Magezi. Oh, Mr. Magezi is there too. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, uh, he said Happy Father's Day. Yes. Um, I think is is being creative, and then moving along with time, mm. because uh, we said, but as you said, sometimes you have to begin off by identifying the disease or and then you come with the solution so when i say sometimes we are stuck in our old ways yes. so we need to think out of the box yes. so that's what Aten ali said thinking th forward thinking yes yeah. so because we can't say it used to be done like this it used to be always <laughs> done like this is done forever. like this so it is okay i've brought this how can we do it Let's move forward. You know, who can, who's got an idea of this? I don't see even people asking. You know, I'm on so many WhatsApp groups. Some WhatsApp groups uh, I have for the youth. Yes. They say, oh, who knows an accountant within a certain area? They post it on the group. They put even the area. Two minutes later, this person start getting inboxes of accountants. Yeah. Yeah, someone posts in, who knows... A, a lawyer mm. within uh, N15. Mm. And then you see people there. But on the WhatsApp group I am on, there are like thousands of them, especially from. Is that. That's, that's not criticism, is it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, will yeah. So, <laughs> you know, let us think out of the box. If yeah. we have, like uh, the man called JJ mentioned about businesses. Yeah. So, I asked one time one of our elders within the community, mm. I said, you're well informed, you're more in the community, you know almost everyone in the community. Mm. How many Banyoro businesses do we have? Yes. He said, not much. Mm. I said, why? Don't you have businessmen in the, in the diaspora? Mm. He said, they are yes. there, but we don't, know them. we don't know them. Why? So what's wrong with us coming up? So we said we are looking at solutions. Yes. Business people, if you have a business, yes. whatever business you may be selling and be there. Yeah, so let us try to come up. Yeah. And again, you know, the other word unit. Let us, let us um, offer our service, what Mr. Kisembo said. Let us appreciate, let us go uh, come up and support I, I see me i see a lot happening in bunyoro i don't see a many in the bunyoro community mm. a lot more than any other communities yes you should it, be it, proud of ourselves yes there, there is a lot <laughs> no there is a lot yes just off my mind by looking on this group here yes. when you look and see there is bella bella um yes, yes, yes. there is bella smiles yes Bella Smiles, where are they? Mm. They're in the U.S. Mm. That's an organization. Mm. We've got Kitara TV. Yes. We've got uh, Boy Show Media UK. Yes. 
you know, <laughs> we've got IOTV, yes. we've got, um, you know, I don't know if these, but I don't, you know, mentioning a company which is there on companies house, I don't think it's a crime, is it? Is it an offense? I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. I don't think it is. It's not. <laughs> yeah. So, so there is, yes, th there is many companies in the UK that are in organization, whether it's a charity or limited company or CICC. There's roots. There is roots in yes. Birmingham, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Virija, there's that education center. Uh, there is uh, Gerard Nyakana owns a company. Yes. I don't know the company. I know he owns it, and I know him as a Munyoro. Um, yeah, he wants, actually, you talk about Gerard Nyakana. He wants to get, he has always been wanting to do mentoring. Yes. And he has always wanted to get uh, people to go in his company, young, the youth, the youth, especially the Banyoro, to go in his company and do uh, internship. Correct. He always says that. Yeah. So those other people, I think it is called... Gosh, he'll kill me if I don't remember his company. But I will remember it and I'll be telling people. He, he's really one, one of the people who want people to, to train the young. Yes. He wants because he's, he's a, 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 an electrical company. Yes. Uh, he, build, he does electricity in big buildings in the city. So he wants people, young the youth, doing electrical engineering to go and have some training with him. Yes. That's yes. amazing. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. So we have people there. There is there. Businesses have, are there. We have this young uh, lady who came here. Who came here, Melissa? Talk, Melissa. 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 Yes. She has uh, a health and wellness. Company. We've got record heads. Record heads. That's a record company. Yes. So, do you see what I'm telling you? Yeah. So you tell me any other community. I don't know other communities, <laughs> but you tell me any other communities. Mm -hmm. Just here, but just the hand is full. Of those companies and they are all by your organizations yes. they are all by your yes. non forgetting ivo yes yeah yes. so th there's many of them exactly. so are you telling me so we said we are looking for solutions yes uh, D diana came and say solution yes let us work together support each other if one has started a business and an and organization anything let us support each other mm. i agree with her yes Diana Kemrembe is 24 hours following the Voice Show Media UK, the Voice of Binyoro in the Diaspora. She even offered her services. She came here, she talked about this uh, mental health and did not, not only talk about mental health, but she supported financially the mm. Voice of Bunyoro. Yeah. And we thank you so much, Awoli, for the support you have been giving the Voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora. Very grateful. We thank are you. very grateful. You're the one of the Bunyoro people who have actually contributed financially to the Voice of Bunyoro, all the way from the U.S., but he has contributed financially yes. to the Voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora yes. because she's happy of the work that we are doing. Yeah. So thank you so much, Awoli, and we really appreciate. We look forward to hosting you next week. I have started advertising and I can't wait to see you. So are you telling me yes. that all other Banyoro yes. and one of, um, uh, there was a question there, the role models, but again in the community we need role, not just fathers. So if this leader, uh, Diana Kevinembe, she has stood up and come up, so what's stopping other organizations? I don't know. That is the solution we are looking for. Kugonza Rakasaija, one of the best guys I have known, always supporting anything Emunyoro does. He's, yes. on, uh, he's on the lock yes. and he's doing everything. He supports us every Sunday to do flyers. And he's saying what binds people is history. That's right. Language, culture. We need to address these issues. Then unity will come. Unity creates trust and development follows amazing he has so, done a conclusion so we don't need to talk about <laughs> business we don't need to talk what we need to talk about culture history history language language and according to him he says we need to address these issues then unity will come unit creates trust and it creates development i agree because culture you remember the example we gave mm -hmm. about the asians yeah. So there's that culture they've created, yeah. the upbringing they've created. So we will need to create that culture. Mm. So I think because since the lockdown is being eased, by the way, guys, COVID is for real. Yes. Um, keep safe. Get vaccinated. 
put on your mask whenever you're in the public and where you can't um, have the, the two meter distance, um, where you can't uh, avoid social distance. And this is the Bunyoro we want as well. When you talk about COVID, it hurts me. I have been reading, reading uh, charts saying that Buhoima Hospital has run out of cylinders. Kagadi Hospital, people, the nurses have diverted, deserted the, 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 the patients. Masindi Hospital is in the same situation. Itwe, Awanyoro, Awanyoro Diaspora. What are we planning? How, what is our plan to help hospitals in Ibunyoro or health centers in Ibunyoro during this pandemic? This is where our unity will come across. Do we have to do, I am thinking, I keep thinking, I keep turning my head, do we need to do a dinner? Do we need to do a campaign? Do we need to do a go fund? What do we need it when Kawanyoro to stand together? But my challenge here is, mm. I know I don't want you going to come across as a criticism, or, or but yeah, yeah. Ka, um, Kugonza Kiki, mm. he mentioned the three pillars, yes. culture, mm. uh, language, and what else? He said, um, he said history, language, and culture, okay. we need to address these issues. Yes. Mm. So... We can talk about the gas cylinder, we can talk about losing, not having oxygen, mm -hmm. but the numbers are not there. We can talk about the go funding, mm -hmm. but the unit is not there. The culture of giving not there. is not there in terms of things like this. But the culture of giving a mabugo, because it is our culture, which Kaki Kugonza mentioned, it has been ingrained in us. Mm -hmm. That when someone dies, we it is give. only rightful mm -hmm. a culture to give and support. Because that situation, it requires financial support, but us it has become a culture. So, I think focusing on those culture, I was making a point that since lockdown is being eased a little bit, possibly, you know, we've had a lot of Zoom meetings and so forth, but sometimes... Um, it needs physical, physical mm -hmm. uh, and then you can physical be able to contact. connect. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully in the coming few days or few weeks, you know, possibly we can tackle those. But I agree with, with a kick that the culture needs to be developed. No, um, I'm not looking as culture. As we, an yes, we wearing a suka. You're talking about a culture. A certain culture of... Lifestyle culture. Yes. It, yes. That is progressive. Yes. That is thinking out of the box. Mm. That is supportive. Mm. That is looking ahead. Business. That is business. That is looking that look here. When I support one family, when I support a film Munyoro, we all Munyoro, that person will be holding a flag. As you mm. saw our first song, mm. we will be holding the flag of Munyoro higher and higher. Yes. Yeah. There is a, a Deo is saying they say there is a saying you think you have time time is free but it is priceless you can't own it but you can use it you can't keep it but you can spend it and it is and once it is lost you never get it back so sorry so he so so the time is now and the future is now that we can see more we can the time the future is now that we can have every action done for the betterness of Bunyoro. Thank you. So he's saying we don't have time. Mm. There's no time. So he's saying the time the future is now that we can have every action done for the betterness of Bunyoro. Thank you. He concludes. Yes. No, I agree. One of my mentor. Mm. Um, told me, or he said, that he regrets one thing. Mm. The thing that he regrets, they are those things that he was supposed to do and he did not do. Yes. So that's where the time element comes in. So we are talking, we are talking, we are talking, we are talking. We have the capability, we have the abilities to do whatever we say we're going to do, but what do we choose to do? 
we choose not to do it. And for him, he regrets. Because whatever he's done, he's ticked it off and he has done it. Mm. Whether he has failed or succeeded or what, but he has done it. But the things he has not done, he said, I'm going to die having not done those things and it is killing him. Yes. Not being able to, to have done those things. So, I think, yeah. There is this book by Napoleon Hill. Mm. Napoleon Hill says the thing, in, in, it's called um, critical thinking. He says, you're better off to do something and get it wrong than never to try and you regret later. Mm. So, we need to start acting, as, as Mr. Dewey is saying, we need to start acting now. Mm. than to regret mm. for not having acted. Mm. And this is our killer. Yes. You, we spend time, most of the time, talking, fighting each other, not accepting what the other one has said, and then time goes. And then, of course, we can never buy it back. By the time we look back, it's gone, and we can never get it back. And we regret, and we start crying, I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, solution, this is an appeal. So Voice of, yes. yes, Voice Show Media UK is here. We have the program called The Voice of Bunyoro. Um, our objective is selling Bunyoro on a global scale. Um, selling culture, selling um, business, you just name it. Everyone we, that has something that they think needs to be told out to the, uh, the world, uh, Community, bring it on. Yes. And we will support you. We will talk for it. We will bring you here on the show. You will discuss it and tell people what you're doing. Yes. That is one of our major objectives. Yes. And, and I had a conversation with someone um, comparing um, Voice Show Media and any other, other Ugandan show in Uganda. Mm. Um, I told them that the viewership of Voice Show Media is wider than the one of Uganda. So right now in Uganda, they are sleeping. Yes. But the other world com community, the whole world is still awake. The rest of the other world, they are still awake. Yes. For instance, in Europe, in other areas, in the U.S., is, they are just waking up. Yes. So, so, so they are watching us. GTV. So we've got people, Dubai, mm -hmm. South Sudan, they've tuned in. So when you go now on a program, news, you can see so many people watching news. But those people watching news, they are, most of them are going to be people in Uganda. So, voice show media, but you'll find that we've got people watching from Uganda, but the percentage is spread. Yes. So, we are calling upon Banyoro, bring your businesses, bring your ideas, come bring solutions, come at voice show media UK, let us promote Banyoro. Yes. Yes. We need DJ Marco. Who is DJ Marco? Uh -huh. <laughs> Alice Atenja to Goza is saying we need, we need DJ Marco to come. Yeah, DJ Marco should come on board as well because this is why we have created this as a, a daughter of Banyoro uh, ladies. So this is, we need her here. DJ uh, Marco. Yeah, inter, inter general work cannot be discard, discard, discarded. Otherwise, if you do, you do, you do, you don't, on your own history, you will not know your future. A true without roots cannot stand. Mm. True. Yeah. It is from yeah. Daisy. Edward, Edward Nyakana says continuity is important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yes. look, our viewers, we, there was a challenge here and said talking is cheap. Anyone can talk. Yeah. But action. And once we finish this conversation or this dialogue. Yes. Five months down the line, we'll be talking about the same thing. Mm. But us at Voice Show Media, we are committed. Yes. We are committed that we will be, this will be our point of reference. Mm. We will be revisiting this mm. discussion or this dialogue. Yes. And see and evaluate where we are. Mm. But we are calling upon the Banyoro to come. If it is unit, if it is culture, if it is language, if it is history, let us go on the table and talk about just that. Yes. Just that. And 
there is another um, phrase is that when army soldiers go to the war or when you see these uh, um, uniform occupation uh, or profession, they are disciplined yes. and they all work together. When the army go on the front line, they all have the same uniform. The police, they are, even, you know, school, you know, they put us in uniform, all of you to be in a uniform, such that you all have the same representation. Yes. So that unites you as a uniform. When you see, oh, he's putting on that, that right. is part of me. Mm. That's, that, that, that's, that, that's someone like me. So it's that let us create that culture, let us create the uniform, the uniformity, u, un, uniformity. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? At your or or jungle or jungle or jungle. Yeah, you're right. So mm. we need that to have that uniformity. Yes. To work together. Yes. As army soldiers do because they are disciplined because they are always together. Yes. They have this thing that puts them together. The unity, the uniform they keep putting on. Yes. Makes them proud and they have to work as a unity. Yes. Uh, uh, to add on to what uh, Arali has said, uh, we are calling upon people to come and have such discussions. I know Omkuru Kamese Patrick has always told me that these are the things that we have to do. We have to get people who are business people, who have business mindset, to come and discuss on the show. Mm. Discuss. For us, we have discussed what we can. The Vunyoro we want. The dialogue. A dialogue. Mm, we need viewers. people who are, have experience in business. Mm. Of course, some are, are really you're one of them. We have people like uh, Patrick Kamese who has been a chair of BKDA before. We have someone like uh, Mr. Kajura who has been having so many uh, businesses. These are the people I know. We have Mr. Nyakana who has a business. We have uh, people like my mom who have one time started charities, uh, people like the Karuhangas, Mr. Karuhanga, who have started charities. So we have all these brain people in our culture, the Daisy, the Aruhangas. We need them to come and discuss. Not only discuss, but help to establish what they have discussed in action. As Mr. Deo has said, the time is now. Yes. We can't continue talking and talking and talking. We can't continue coming on voice. Our own one of our viewers, he's in Italy. I, I kept sending him these messages to come on voice or media. Or oh, every Sunday. One time, we young guy to Carola, I need. Come over, Lise, Mwabaza, Mwabaza. Is that Ronald? Akiki. Yeah, Ronald Akiki. Yes, yes. Call action. Yes. Why yes. don't you talk to the kingdom? But we mm. eh? mm. We have tried, we have written to the kingdom. BKD executive have written to the kingdom asking them to lease us land. We have never got a response from them. Kugonza yankaguza mukutandi kadi kukora. Kani mubaza mubaliza mulikiasa bit. Karola ino mubaliza mulikiasa bit. But to kavoin anything out of your talk mm. that has been put in place. Hati tukwenda tanike kukora actions. It we have voice show media UK. We started doing charity with Miss Bunyoro, former Miss Bunyoro 2019, mm, mm, mm. working with schools, trying to help schools in Bunyoro. We are looking at partnering with with Kitara TV to build to build a block, an administration block of one of those schools where Miss Bunyoro 2019 visited, and the block was in a mess. With so many kids, but they, you could wonder what where, what happens when the when it rains. The blow, the, the, the the building was no windows, nothing, but they were just sitting there, and it was the administration block. So we are hoping to pattern with Kitara TV, to put to put something out there mm. together with BKDA because BKDA supports us. Uh, Bunyo, the voice show media. So we are hoping they will give us some money mm. with Rise Up Community Inclusion. So we need to start acting. Amot Kugonza, Ronald Kugonza Kiki has asked me, and it is now. Unless you have something to conclude with. Um, to well, I stay Samuel Kitone Mulindu Arari. Enzaro ya Kagadi Mhororo. Yes. Um, yes. Um, I would, I would uh, once again thanks, I say thanks to our viewers. Mm. Thanks to our technical team for enabling us 
uh, the man called JJ. Um, I think um, this dialogue has been very good. Yes. And uh, I think all the answers that are there, um, uh, we will report back yes. to, to, to the community and the community that is here already. I think there's been a substantial number of people there yes, listening. Yeah. And, and I think, um, yeah, you know, it's been, it's been very good. Yes. Um, yeah, I can't wait. For to, to, to for the action for the action and all solutions to be put in place. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, we were able to know Mkurara, the vice chair of BKDA, and one of the founders of Voice Show Media UK, and the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora. Kuba mukuba zamu na nyoka today to help me present this show tonight. Thank you for having me. Without without having our guest, I didn't I didn't know what I was gonna do. I want to thank our, 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 our technical uh, person who has been made it for us today, Mr. JJ, for the hard work that you had, you had, he had to do to make sure that this show happens today. He was not there last week <laughs> and things didn't work out well, but we thank God that today things have gone well and we thank him so much for that special work he does every Sunday for us. I want to conclude by saying a few, just to add with Sabarongo, by Sabarongo, but very important in Unyoro, culture, Mr. Kugonze Yagambide, attenu webale muno kuhereza, but education remains the key to our success. Ogonwe Sabarongo, Edward Nyakana, or Belgium, who is also a very good follower of this uh, uh, show, and he says education is key, and we must focus a lot onto that. Mwebale muno inyue na abanyoro na abanyoro kata and friends of Bunyoro, thank you so much for tuning in. Hairakari ya Bunyoro in the diaspora and we are very excited to have had a chat or a dialogue with you. Although we are not able to bring engineer, honorable engineer Asimwe, I'm sure he will be, he will have said more about the oil and gas industry and how we should position ourselves to make the Bunyoro we want. We hope to invite him again sometime to come. I don't know when, but when he's available, he will be back. And he sends his apologies for not having made it today. Nebiga mbebi ebike, nka umkuru kitone arari, nko wagambire, COVID is real. Please take uh, precautions, follow the business, uh, 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 the, 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 the government regulations of, uh, of wherever you live, the government regulations of every place where you live. Please make sure you follow them because COVID-19 uh, is real. It is taking so many people and it is worrying, especially in our country, Uganda. We need to go onto our knees and pray for God to intervene. That's the only, because I am a Christian, I'm sorry for those who don't, but this is my belief. And I think we really need to take uh, a lot of effort to make sure that we follow what our governments are telling us Keep this social distancing, wash your hands, use your mask wherever you are so that we keep, we have life and we're able to continue with the Bunyoro we want. And in your way, Carolina Juna Kibuka, Ateni, the host of the Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora, which is supported by BKDA uh, uh, UK and Rise Up Community Inclusion. We will be back again next week, same time with yet another amazing guest. Please do not miss that person. She has been with us. She has fought the, 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 she has moved with us throughout the journey and we really want to continue supporting her. We will see you then and enjoy this amazing song that we are going to play from our own, again, our own musician in Bunyoro and we hope you will enjoy it. Mukama abena inyenyuena kandi mukama abalinde ni tuja kuba nturangana obantu Mtuhulizangana next week, ekirokia sabiti, esaha nizo zimu zimu. Mukama abena inyue and thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much. Abanyoro na abanyoro kati and friends of Bunyoro. God bless you. Bye. On the beat. Run it go. Tutuwa na stress deye tuwa vya ito. Tufuna hakaire ni tulia haza ito. I'm
mando haka ni ho waito Ejana yona bina waka bine pinto Mulicho kakweta ni kepevo kaga waito Shakira Waito Shifa Waito Shanita Waito Shante Waito Shiba Waito Shasha Waito Dance flow mugirumbe muwa mulike habinto Bito Waito Becky Waito Babra Waito Brenda Waito Babarita Waito Beyonce Waito Dance flow mugirumbe muwa mulike habinto Mpaka kejenge psa hombozi yoturo Mino mi miro ke mira y furo Tu que te eran pa' casita y tu casar en saro Cava despacito tu cutundo ruñoro Tu linda ni casete y tu ese mero santaro Riboni jamu tu eca capte ni huesero Un cora rico de anti buen difan di batiro Como cama cava le gavancita casa ni paro Usa joku si mi anti muaca guno moliro Butengue nene bukondo ni bobro que soro Cama zenda mu cava sexa varo jacaro Vura cule y barra y ayna sembera da muy tiro Jackie White Husla White Sharon White Carol We are talking about 